shots. Start off the week. <laughs> Immunity tater tots. You want to take one? I'm going to take one. If you didn't watch the last video, Matt has COVID. If you did watch the last video, then hey, he still has COVID. It's like three shots. You're gonna be a little bitch about it? You have COVID, you need immunity boosters. I wanna see your reaction taking it. <laughs> you can taste it. It's not sweet, it's not bad. Yeah. Cheers to immunity. To immunity. A little spicier than the ones you buy at the store. Better than the ones at the store. Welcome to a week in our life with COVID. <laughs> Ugh, I don't have it. I'm also making chicken stock. Having soup tonight. I'm so excited. All right. Well, I'll come and deal with this all later. I'm gonna go sit in the bedroom so I can take my mask off for a little bit. Have fun working. Freedom. <laughs> I'm making my Greek soup. Is it cute? Dinner is done and it looks so good. Oh my god. I'm gonna link this recipe. I tasted it and it's really good. All right, Matt. Your soup is on its way. Hey, Google, turn on bedroom lamps 100%. <laughs> it's like magic. Here you go. Matt, I guess I'll sit out here by myself and eat by myself. It's so sad. I'm gonna eat my food. I'm so happy. I'm excited. Hey friends. I'm laying in bed editing. It's almost one in the morning. Yeah, if you watched the last video, like I said earlier, then you know Matt has COVID. I guess if you watch this video, then you still know Matt has COVID because I talked about it. I'm still feeling perfectly fine. I don't like laying in a bed by myself without Matt. It's not fun. I don't like being in the apartment and not being able to hang out with Matt. It's a real bummer. All I can taste in my mouth is dill from the dinner. I'm not a fan of it. The dinner was delicious. I'm just not a fan of the taste of dill in my mouth. But I kind of want to let you guys in on a little thing that might be happening. I might be applying for a job to social media and stuff. I think it'd be really cool. I would really enjoy it and I feel like I could thrive doing it. I'm editing this video and my <laughs> the freeze frame that my face is on is so funny. Look at that upper lip and that no chin and then this the beginnings of the double chin starting in this just ugh. that's one thing doing these videos and editing them i see my flaws constantly i see things that i'm super insecure about uh one of them being my chin one of them being my nose i've never been a fan of my nose one of them being my stomach i wear like crop tops and sports bras and leggings and biker shorts and all of that stuff. And when I'm editing my videos, I just, I see my little tum tum. I have a really dark patch of skin right here and I see that and I'm like, mm, probably should get that checked out. <laughs> um, I've talked about my tooth breaking. Probably should get that checked out. It's okay. It's just me. That's who I am as a person. That's how I look. And it's okay if I have issues with it, but I also am it terms with it? Like, I'm okay with it? I don't know if that's right, the right way to say it. Like, I guess they are my insecurities. This is a weird topic to be talking about in the COVID weekend in my life. No, week? Yeah, we're in the week in my life. Uh, COVID has just taken, like, the past several days have just fast forwarded. I don't know where I'm going with this. It's one in the morning. I'm tired. I think all I'm just trying to say is I look funny in that screenshot and my chin looks gross and I'm insecure about it, but at the same time, who gives a fuck? me but no one else should mm, okay i'm gonna finish editing uh we have a new podcast going up on tuesday i have not even put the audio in audition like i have not even started to edit it yeah that's why i want to do this video and then finish it in the morning and then all day friday saturday and sunday edit 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 that's the goal Another thing with editing, I hear myself talk about these goals that I have and I edit out them if I don't accomplish them. So I listen and I'm like, ooh, I definitely didn't do that. So I'm just gonna take it out of the video. <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, it's so sad and disappointing sometimes. When I was 19 and I did some vlogs, they were so cute. I did them with my little brother. There's one vlog called Pillow Talk 
where I was laying in bed, just giving my my random thoughts like to the world, to the camera. I had like a little flip cam. What I'm doing right now, we're pillow talking. 10 years later, a whole decade later, and I'm still pillow talking. Not still, I guess I did it once, and then now 10 years later, I'm doing it again. Once every 10 years. <laughs> Also, another thing I, hang on, let me take, let me take this little white pill. Another thing I've noticed that because like I'm taking food to Matt and then taking his dishes and I'm washing my hands a lot, like constantly washing my hands and they've gotten so dry and like I've started to get like hangnails and stuff. So I had to go in search of this little hand cream. I don't get why they don't call it a moisturizer. Why is it hand cream? When I think of cream, I think of food. I wonder if you could eat it. But look, it's Norwegian formula. I'm Norwegian. This is for me. This is literally made for my hands. Okay, I'm just rambling. It's six and a half minutes. <laughs> I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. Bye. I don't want to see it outside. Just throw it over the balcony. Okay, he survived. I threw him off the side, and he got caught in another spider's web. <laughs> it like, I guess, broke his fall. So instead of me cooking tonight and making more dishes that I would have to now clean up, Matt put in an order for pickup. We got dinner covered tonight. I got a caprese salad with a chicken, Matt got a barbacoa, and some spaghetti and meatballs. I'm sitting on the patio, and look who's just moseying out. Phoebe. Matt, can you come get the cat? <laughs> What'd she do? What happened? Look at that cloud reflecting the light from the sunset. Isn't that pretty? And then look at the sunset. Oh, yeah, there we go. And that's special. Isn't they have special Easter? I'm just sitting on the patio. Because it's nice. I officially applied to that job today. I have an interview next Thursday. Am I nervous? Yeah. Do I think I'll get it? No. Oh, here comes a biking tour. There they go. Look at them go. It's so peaceful out here right now. And then there's Easton. Looking at the door. <sighs> All right, it's time to head out to the grocery store. I only have a couple of things to get. I was gonna go down to the Walmart, but I decided to just go to Harris Teeter. My pants are so tight that when I'm in the car, I have to completely undo them. <laughs> I think it's really funny. <laughs> okay, light screen. I'll see you in a minute. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I got all my stuff. They had my milk on sale, so I grabbed my milk. I got turkey, I got ribs, I got trash bags, and I got sausage for a random dinner. And I got sour cream because we needed sour cream for tacos. <laughs> yeah, my milk was on sale and I was like, shoot, if it's on sale, I'm gonna get it now because if I don't, then it's $5 a gallon. And I got two for seven, so <laughs> that was pretty nice. Pretty nice. Let's go home. <laughs> I haven't eaten anything today. So I'm just making some spaghetti and I'm editing the podcast, the, the one where we had a guest and it's different editing three people. Not terrible, but just different. taking Easton out and making myself some popcorn. Just do all of that. 
Yeah, Matt's taking Easton out, making popcorn. I'm gonna sit out here and watch a movie. Matt's gonna go to sleep. Then I'm gonna go into the bedroom and edit some, hopefully, if I'm still awake. <laughs> and I tested negative again, Matt tested positive again. We're just gonna have to keep doing this until we are both negativo. I'm getting tired of not being able to hug my husband. That sucks. Okay, oh look, my side part came back. <laughs> Where'd you go, middle part? It's like late now? A weird week. Tomorrow's Sunday. Matt works tomorrow. And then Monday has been a week since he started feeling sick. Tuesday will be a week since he tested positive. I'm hoping that I'm staying in the clear. We've been so careful about everything. Masks on, distance even with masks on. He's lived in that room. I'm just worried. But yeah, Saturday's over. I did some editing on the podcast, which I'm gonna sit down and do some more of tonight before I go to sleep. I watched a movie tonight after dinner, delicious dinner, but after dinner I was still hungry and so was Matt, so I made him some Campbell's soup and then I had popcorn and I watched one of the best movies, The King's Speech. I love it. Colin Firth, him and I are birthday twins. Not the same year, obviously, but the same day. We're both September 10th babies. <laughs> We're connected in a cosmic way. I love him. <sighs> okay, well, tomorrow's editing cleaning. Cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. Matt's gonna be at work. As long as he's testing positive, I'm still not sleeping in that room, but I know he would really appreciate clean sheets. So I'm gonna wash all the bed sheets and blankets and stuff. They're covered in crumbs <laughs> because he's been eating in bed every day. And since he's not gonna be in bed tomorrow, I'm gonna wash the bed sheets for him. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. <sighs> I have all the windows open. It's like 72 degrees outside. We're gonna let the house air out while Matt's at work. We left it about 10.50. I'm not cool with it yet. Scared, don't like it. I am doing laundry. I need to switch his sheets over so I can put the blankets in. So you guys know he's been eating three meals a day in bed. So they're full of crumbs, his bed sheets were. So I washed them. Cool, laundry, fun stuff. <laughs> I need to do dishes as always. Matt took some ribs to work today so we can smoke them and get them a going. I need to edit the mini game, which I do better at night, but I need to go to sleep early tonight because I'm nannying tomorrow and I need to edit a video and get one up. And I need to clean the house. So I think cleaning the house will be easy because it's dishes and then I need to go over any and everything that Matt has touched and wipe it down with a disinfectant wipe because I can't find my Lysol. I swear I had Lysol, but I can't find it. I gotta look for that. Oh, and my period started yesterday. So I'm cramping like a bitch today. It sucks. I'm gonna continue to drink some coffee, fully wake up and keep watching Caroline Winkler on YouTube. So good news, I found the Lysol. <laughs> I've done the dishes. I vacuumed the floors in the living room and the kitchen. Matt's laundry is finishing. I went around, Lysol, everything that Matt's hands may have touched. He probably didn't touch most things like in the living room and kitchen and my bedroom and my bathroom, but he touched obviously a lot of stuff in our bedroom and bathroom. So I sprayed down any handle surface cause I've touched stuff too. And I just want to, you know, make sure every single handle, light switch, fridge, oven, toilet, shower, the soaps that I need to use later today when I take a shower, anything that you touch your hand on, I have sprayed down uh, and I'll probably go over it again later too. <laughs> I'm really glad I found that, but I'm going to take a break from cleaning. I'm gonna go into the guest room and do some editing. It's getting kind of warm. It's 77 outside. It's 72 inside, which I don't believe because I'm kind of hot. I'm now realizing that I have not, have I eaten today? I don't think I've eaten today, but I just, I don't, I want to start working. I don't want to eat. I'm at the point where I haven't eaten, so I'm starting to feel sick and I don't want to eat. Let me see if there's like something super quick. I'm, ooh, I can make pizza rolls. Sold. Done, because I can edit and eat those things and they take two minutes to cook. You know, we, we went through a healthy phase about a month ago and I've still been doing like healthy eating, but this week Matt's been sick, so. Hmm. I'm happy I've remembered I had those. <laughs> you are so stinking cute. So stinking, stinking, so cute. I'm just editing this video. It's really loud outside. Like I wanna turn, turn. I wanna, I wanna close the windows, but I'm letting the whole apartment air out. Bye. All right, let's get back to work.
You don't think he's ill. Just don't think you. I think I'm gonna take a shower. I have a headache. Why? Where did this come from? It just started. What are you thinking? What's going on behind your eyeballs? What do you think? I love you. Okay, I have this theory that Phoebe got underneath of the bed somehow and is stuck because I keep hearing a box moving and I really want to be correct. Phoebe, oh, I see a tail. Oh my God, how long have you been underneath of here, cat? How long have you been underneath of the bed? Are you stuck here? Come here, babe. Come on, it's okay. You've had to have been stuck under there for hours. I haven't seen you in so long. All right, I'm doing the second round of Lysoling the hell out of everything. <laughs> Everything is Lysol. <laughs> I did it! It's all clean, Phoebe. It's all clean. He's clean. Mask is on means Matt is home. He's currently naked. You know people can see inside. Oh my god. We got the ribs. God, they look so good. They smell so good. We got the mac and cheese. And we got collard greens. Very excited. It's 11.27. I finished the first draft of the podcast. And then I'm halfway through the next video. Uh, Easton and Phoebe are both in the room with him, which is the first time they've slept in the room. I mean, honestly, I'll probably wake up to Easton being in here, but they're sleeping in his room right now. I'm nannying tomorrow. She's coming over. I mean, I sanitized the hell out of this place like two times today and she won't be going into our bedroom. Oh, even though I did sanitize and clean everything in there too. Oh my God. Okay. I'm gonna set an alarm for like six and like 6.15, try to get up and take a COVID test immediately. I should still be okay. Still not feeling any symptoms. The weekend in my life is gonna start off with me working. I'm excited. I was really bummed that I didn't get to nanny last week, um, but I'm really excited to start nannying. I miss her. I miss my friends. This is gonna be the end of our COVID week. It's been crazy. It hasn't been fun. Has it been crazy fun? Absolutely not. It's been insane. Like, I'm glad I documented at least my experience dealing with a husband who has COVID. It sucks. Let me tell you, it really, really sucks. Like, I just want to hug him. I haven't hugged him in a week. I haven't kissed him in a week. I haven't been able to just sit in a room with him. And we're in the same apartment. And it really, really bumps me out. Hopefully within the next week. I mean, I'm still in this room. He's back at work, but I'm still in this room because he's still testing positive as of yesterday. So we're just gonna stay apart until he starts testing negative. I get really sad thinking about it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's be weird. Let's get sad and real and real sad. All right, I have to wake up super early tomorrow. So thank you so much for watching this fun, fun life of someone who lives with someone who has gone. And now I get to edit it. Yay. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video. Like, subscribe, comment, and let me know if you guys have dealt with what I've dealt with, whether you've had COVID or you've lived with someone who has COVID. Oh, in case you guys were wondering, as of like yesterday or two days ago, Derek and Katie are still testing negative for COVID. So they're still in the clear. But yeah, I do feel alone. I know I'm not alone. We're two years and almost two and a half years into this pandemic. I know I'm not the only person who has ever felt like this in the past few years, but barely anyone has reached out to me to see how I'm doing. I mean, Matt's mom did, and that was about it. I wish more people reached out. And Matt's kind of bummed that people aren't like reaching out to him, making sure he's okay. Not a lot of people know that he has COVID, but the people that do. Whatever. All right, I'm gonna go. I'll see you in the next video. Okay, I love you guys. Bye.